Beautiful. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Fishing with Steve. You join me on the 15th of October. It's a Sunday morning. It's very cold, just two degrees. And I'm on my way to Cavan to a new lake for the first pike session of this season. So I head to this new lake, as I said, it's a lake I've never fished before. It's a lake I've been doing some research on online. And um, I found some surveys from 2018 from the Inland Fisheries on fish stocks. I found some ecological surveys with the EPA uh, around water quality and depths and that sort of stuff. The lake itself is around 37 acres, 38 acres, something around that size. Depths to around 30 foot at one end and drops up to around 6 foot deep in the, in the shallower, shallower side of it. While doing some research on this lake, I seen that the only really access to it is on the north bank, which is along a roadside. All the rest, all the other sides are covered by farmland which we don't have access to, so it's all private access. From what I can see on Google Maps on Street View, there are about three swims that are accessible from that north bank that we have access to. But the only issue with that is that the Street View map that I've been looking at is 14 years old, it's from 2009. So I'm not sure what we're going to be faced with when we come up and uh, to the lake itself. Anyway, we've got about another 40 minutes till I get to the venue. See you on the bank. So we're here and we're set up. Just gonna show you quickly the rigs we're using today. So we've got the uh, ledger stem, just a short ledger stem, two ounce lead. That's uh, allowed to be run on the line. Little bit of a buffer bead there, as you can probably see, down onto a quick link uh, between the trace and my line using 40 pound braid. The reason I'm using this quick link is that if I do catch a pike and it's in the net, I can quickly just unhook the, uh, or unlink the trace from the rod. And then I'll just have the, the pike in the net with the trace and then I can hook it back on the and hook them at then at the leisure without having to drag rods and stuff around. So we've got about an 18 inch trace. Again, 40 pound, 40 pound uh, wire down to two size six semi barb trebles. And we've got our little fox flag there on there for uh, keeping the, the soft baits on. Baits today I'm using a mixture of smelt and I've also got some small trout and herring as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to smelt on the on the, on the first two rods and get out and see what we're doing. It's fairly misty out there today. Uh, you can barely see the lake. <laughs> misty, you can probably see it behind me there, but uh, misty morning. First pike session this season. Let's see if we can go get a couple. I've got uh, two rods out there at the minute. I've got one just over here. It's prob probably about two or three rod lengths out. And the same with one just over here. There's a drop off just in front of me. Um, drops off to 16 foot. And only about two rod lengths out. So, And it's cleared of all weed. And there's plenty of bait fish around. So, so I'll fish to drop off under the rod tips. See if we get anything there. If not, We'll push out and further into the lake. A little bit of interest shown on the 
one on the left. We have something here. No. Oh. It's too premature on that one. Well, it's just gone 10 a.m. and uh, first chance I got to, to sit down and do a bit of an update. Uh, we haven't had anything out yet, as of yet. I did get two sort of runs. One I hit a bit early, a bit premature, and nothing on the end of it. That was on the left hand rod, about 13 foot of water, four or five rod lengths out, and um, literally just on a drop off. And then I got a drop back bite that didn't take it on. Um, literally as I was putting the force rod back out. Um, other than that, we haven't had anything. I switched uh, one of the ledger rods over onto the float for the minute. Um, when I was doing the survey and I had to deeper out, I did notice that there was a lot of bait fish in around five foot, six foot, in around that depth. Um, 12 foot of water and then the bait fish were holding kind of, kind of mid water. So I stuck on the, I stuck on a smelt on the float rod and I have that out for a little while see if I can pick anything up on the upper upper layers of the water but yeah uh, it's a lovely lake yeah very impressed with it um, getting down here now is a bit it's a bit messy it's a bit swampy but uh, it's to be expected as I said there's only a couple of um, couple of spots on the lake that I could see on Google Maps that I could get down to and luckily enough when I came down to this one this is the one I had picked out um, that I was able to see on Street View, and it hasn't changed much in 14 years, would you believe? As I said, the Street View was from 2009, and when I came down, it might as well have been yesterday, because uh, nothing much has changed. But there's a little spot up the top where I can park the car, and uh, near the lake, and, that, and that's fine. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna, I'll be moving the baits around the place. We've got plenty of plenty of water to, to aim at, plenty of things to keep the baits. Probably every half an hour or so, I'm gonna move the baits around the place, and uh, see if we can pick up couple of pike. We have a bit of interest in this one here. The line's peeling away a bit. He's still there. Yeah, I'm already in. Doesn't feel a big one. But we're in. And we're off the mark on a new lake. Tiny little jack. Tiny, tiny. Tiny, tiny, tiny little jack. Oh! Into the net. Get in. Get in. No. No. That's the reason for this quick link. So it can leave the rod where it is. And bring this over to the knocking table. There you go, guys. Just as I was doing me update the camera, we got our first pike and our first pike from this lake. Pike of a couple of pounds, but you know what? They all count, and I'm absolutely delighted with it. Saves the blank. Saves the blank. Not even gonna bother weighing. Obviously, it's only a couple of pounds. So, little Jack Pike on the smelt. Let's get it back. Off it goes, strong. Lovely little Jack. Very welcome. Deadly. Welcome back to another update. And um, nothing much happening. Um, it's just gone 2 p.m. The sun, as you can probably tell, I'm still squinting. The sun is still. Uh, bright sunshine for the whole day, so I don't think that's been helping. 
But um, yeah, interestingly enough, had a visit from two separate inland fisheries officers, which is uh, which is pretty good, which is great to see that these lakes are being patrolled regularly, um, not by not one, but two different fishery officers. So um, yeah, it's great to see. Um, from what I can tell, there's only myself and a couple of other kayak fishers that are on this lake uh, here today. But they were saying that they're, they've, they've been patrolling the lakes all around the area, so it's, uh, it's great to see. So interestingly enough, I picked this lake because of the uh, online research that I did around saying that this lake would be the one for pike, has the largest pike and the biggest number of pike in it. And apparently from the, according to the fisheries officers, that's not the case. He said that this wouldn't be a great lake for pike at, at all. And he's a local guy, so you never know. Um, I've done all the, I did all the research and stuff online, and um, you know, you think you're doing good, and you're you're finding all this information out, and fishery reports, and and surveys, and all that kind of stuff from years ago, and um, then the local guys come along and goes, not many people pike fishing, so it's uh, it's hard to know, it's hard to tell. I I have had two two drop runs, and then that two pounder, um, and all we can do is try. It's been, as I said, bright sunshine for the whole day, so that hasn't helped. Um, there's plenty of bay fish in here, so I can't see why you wouldn't have if this, this, this pike in here, why they wouldn't be thriving with the amount of bay fish and stuff that's here, because it's just been topping all day non-stop. And from what I can see on the sonar, there's just, there's just balls and balls of bay fish, um, which is what I've been dropping me uh, baits on top of. Hopefully, when the light levels drop in the evening, we might get a couple of runs. Um, the three runs I did have all came within like 20 minutes of each other. So I'm just hoping that you just switch on at some point coming in towards the evening and we get a couple of run or another pike or two. Really peaceful. There's not many people around. It's well out of the way of towns. And it's just, yeah, it's a really nice place to be on a Sunday. Even if you're not catching. I'm going to stick on the kettle, make myself a coffee and just chill out. So that's it. That's all she wrote for another session. Our first pike session of the season. And not a very successful one. Um, just the one pike at two pound. We had that about 10 o'clock this morning. It's just gone about 20 past seven. We've lost all light. And uh, yeah, it's a long day, a long day. A bit disappointed really because I chose this lake on the back of the research that I've done online and it's supposed to be a bit of a prolific pike water and a large pike in it but uh, no doesn't seem to be the case well not in that swim anyway I literally covered every inch of the swim every depth uh, fishing on the bottom fishing popped up flow fishing down from the top there was balls of bait fish all over the place, um, dropping the baits in amongst it. Still no takes. So I don't know. Maybe it's the weather. Maybe it's the temperature. Maybe they ran out of the, the dead baits. Um, I'm not sure. Guys, if you enjoyed the vlog, although it's not very successful one fishing wise, um, do like, subscribe, and hit that little bell to get the notifications for when I upload the next time. Until the next upload, until the next fishing session, tight lines.